Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to core pour a foundation. So, uh, the concrete truck came. It was a little late getting my stuff around, so I didn't have any videos of us actually filling the cores up. But we filled them all up. Everything's four foot on center. You can see concrete everywhere. I filled up this whole wall here with concrete. Had like two or three wheelbarrows extra. It's all right. Talk about how I space these out. So every uh, core, I got rebar on off each side. Got rebar over there. So everywhere there's a rebar anchor bolt. I shoved them in there before it got too hard. And I put anchor bolts everywhere around where we did that. If you notice here, I got little piles because when you shake them around and set them to height, the concrete falls down. And uh, we're gonna go around and clean them all up. So the first thing we're gonna do, start off this corner. Now I'm gonna show you how to set these right there. All right, so we're gonna start on this one. So all you do, the shaker, and you want it right in the middle. The reason I'm not in the middle of this one is because the core beneath it has me kind of messed up. So you're gonna, you're gonna smooth it out Scrape away the extra. Okay. Clean that top nice and good so your framers don't get mad at you. Clean her off and smooth her out. So, you set every one of these at about two and a quarter because your 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 plate is going to be an inch and five eighths plus a little uh, barrier thing here i don't know what that's called there's a barrier so it's going to be about two inches and your bolts are about a half inch so you want them to be able to crank her down in the wood so it don't go nowhere so it's at two and a quarter right all you do is give her a little twist because in the bottom i'll just pull this up quick there's a hook right so that twist makes it set nice again two and a quarter you're in the middle and you want to eyeball it make sure that you're straight up and down so we're going to come over and do this other one right off the corner and then you can see how i got her set up there my framers like to have one in the corner and one right off of the corner because your sill plate is going to set right here and then they're going to start running another one this way so there's going to be a board here and a board here that way right on your ends they have an anchor bolt to go off some people like them one off each corner i just my framers like them right off the end so again get that pile all up there shake her down right to right there give her a twist so it stays that extra off of there. Smooth, smooth. Smooth. Alrighty. Now you can see where you're at. We are at three inches, so you're gonna wanna come down a little bit. You can tell too, these threads are two inches. Two and an eighth, so you know you gotta be right about there. So yeah, I can eyeball them pretty good just off of the threads. Two and a quarter, you're good to go to the next one. And you just do that all the way around all of your anchor bolts. We're gonna do this one, go around, and then uh, I'm gonna show you what to do when you meet a double. So this is a double anchor bolt. Now the reason you want a double anchor bolt is this is for the framers, all right? The framers are putting sill plates on here, which is a treated uh, two by six. And they have one down there, right and this is where the board's going to stop so you need one for this side for this board and this side for the board to continue to go down your span usually you want to do it on 16 foot because that's how big their sill plates are i did it on 12 just because it was the middle of the wall and it was easier than 16 and so i have the sill plate going here and the sill plate going there come over here 
then the sill plate is going to start on here and it's going to hit this one and then it's going to start over here and run this way so there's a sill plate going this way and then there's a sill plate that runs this way right and so that's how i space out my anchor bolts don't forget to do your doubles or you're out to come back and do a double for them because you know they're not going to be able to attach their sill plates on it and i did another double over here this wall my 12 foot so they just got to get some 12 foot boards here and uh they can attach them real easy so that is how you core pour a foundation and put anchor bolts in.